Hi guys, this is a follow-up to my 60 frames per second test videos. Um, I've been looking at all the feedback and gauging what I can see on YouTube myself, and it's looking very interesting. The 60 frames a second uh, videos do look a lot better than the 30 frames per second videos most of the time um, for most people. <laughs> um, and that obviously is where the problem is. The fact that it is not all of the time for all of the people. The first thing I noticed was when I first watched the video, there was some stuttering, especially at the start. And I thought it was a possibly a problem with the video. However, when I looked at the source video, it was pretty much um, very, very smooth. Now, I'm recording this at 30 frames a second, and or at least I'm going to render it at 30 frames a second. I might actually still be recording at 60 frames a second. So you will not see the smoothness, because I'm just going to post this at 30 frames a second. Uh, but it is pretty damned smooth. Uh, much smoother than 30 frames a second. However, when I watched it in YouTube, it didn't seem as smooth. Until I reloaded about two or three minutes later, and suddenly it looked a lot smoother. And then occasionally I would get some stutters. Um, and then perhaps I'd watch it again later and it wouldn't work so well. I'd watch it a little later on, it worked fine. It seemed to be, not, not random, but as though the performance did vary depending on when I was watching it. I, I tried looking at the resources on my machine and they didn't seem to be being pushed very hard. Some people in the comments were saying, oh no, it was just smooth for me the whole time. Some people were saying it was choppy for them the whole time and so on. So I did a bit of look, uh, reading and it would seem that it is fairly common for people to have mixed results with how smooth this is. And this probably because it is reasonably new. Um, you know, the, 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 the technology is not exactly new, but, <laughs> but I'm just watching it on YouTube is a little new. There is absolutely no reason why 60 frames a second should push anyone's system to at, at all. I mean, if you watch a 60 frames a second video on something like um, VLC or the, just the media player, it'll be very, very smooth and it will not be using your computer's resources particularly much unless your computer is so old as to be fairly ridiculous. So I'm not 100% sure why, but it is an issue. Not for everyone. Some of you are going to say, oh no, it was totally smooth for me. And yeah, it probably was. I actually posted two videos. One of them was, well, that's the one I'm watching right now, using a different codec. Now, this codec allows me to have slightly higher quality. Well, actually, theoretically, much higher quality. It, the file size was twice as large. And there is a small difference in the source files. If I look at the source files side by side, there is a small difference, but it is pretty small. And once it gets uploaded to YouTube, the difference is quite, well, it is it's still there, but it is quite small. Some people said they noticed a bigger difference than I noticed, and that, that might be because they're slightly more sensitive to sharp textures and so on. But honestly, once YouTube got its uh, mucky little paws on both videos, it pretty much ruined the clarity, as it always does. Um, the, the YouTube codec is very compressed indeed. So the file I upload might well be 60 megabits per second, but once they finish with it, it'll be a tenth of that size. And so there's not a lot I can do about that other than give it the best quality source to work with just to add that maybe 1% difference. Uh, the problem with using the codec that I used to make this video is to do a one hour video, to render a one hour video takes close to seven hours. So as you can imagine, that is pretty damned intense. Um, I can still render it with the Sony codec, which I think is 99% as good. It's almost as good visual quality. It's, um, but it's, it's also, it takes me about two hours to render. Now, people were also saying things like, well, every now and again, and especially the Skyrim bit, I see it suddenly blur and then go smooth and then blur and then go smooth. Um, 
Yeah, you're probably not remembering this, but that happened quite a lot in my Skyrim Let's Plays. That's not new to this video. Um, it it happens reasonably often when you're near foliage, grass, and that sort of thing. However, if I go along to the section of video that I recorded, if I go along to the source and look at it, I don't actually see that. I do see some blurring. It is tiny amounts of blurring. And that, of course, is because I record compressed. And you do see it. You do see it in the recording. You do see this, this subtle blur when it's looking at a lot of foliage or the foliage moves suddenly. But it's not that pronounced. However, once YouTube gets hold of it, it becomes pretty pronounced. Um, it... it, it basically overemphasizes that type of thing. Now, I got less of it when I was recording lossless. I used to record lossless codec, and you get less of it, because of course, then the, the YouTube is, is literally working with source that is impeccable quality. And if I could go back to doing that, I would, but at the moment, that's probably not possible. It's certainly not recording 60 frames a second. Um, I mean, I, I, I could do it, but I would definitely need to upgrade my machine to be a lot more powerful. I'm going to make a completely separate video on that issue and not to get sidetracked, because there's still options there. So, you, you, I don't, you probably can't see it on this recording, but it did pixelate there as it crossed the bridge. So... Um, is that issue more pronounced on the 60 frames a second videos? I don't know. I suspect that is just the fact that we're all looking at this video with, you know, with very critical eyes. We're trying to spot it. We're going out of our way to spot it. And I made it easier to spot it in the way I filmed the shots. You'll notice I've got pretty smooth camera work here. When I played my Let's Play Skyrim, it was obviously a lot more erratic as I was mimicking... Richard's head movements rather than trying to make it cinematic so but anyway so there you go so that's what I ca came away with from this it does look better 60 frames per second is smooth it is great but it's a little unreliable at the moment it's little early days this is compounded further by the sad fact that people using other browsers are having issues um for example, oh, excuse me, let me mute that. This is the same video on Firefox, and I have to watch it in 480p. And I do notice that it stutters horribly. It stutters horribly. And if I update, if I try to watch it, oh, I have to, I have to reload. If I watch it in 1080p, um, or try to watch it in 1080p, what happens is I get this. Now... I got it working with Firefox when I initially installed Firefox, because I didn't have Firefox installed on this particular machine. I've got it installed on some other machines. I installed it fresh on this machine, and it worked. But it was limited to 720p resolution, and didn't show 60 frames a second. But you could watch my video. I then updated the Flash plugin, and this, this is what happened. It stopped it working. Now, of course, you're going to be updating your Flash plugin, so... It would seem that 60 frames per second is not going to work on uh, most browsers. I, I believe it works on Safari as well, but apparently it's not working on mobile devices. So, of course, this just, it really does make my videos pretty hard to view for a lot of people. So, all in all, I have to say at the moment, it's an interesting experiment. It is, it is a good step forward. But at the current state, it's probably not something I should switch to right at this time. I mean, I know some of you who are using Chrome and you've got good results are probably very disappointed. But there is, you know, I've got to think of everyone on this particular issue. Um, as a side note there, I did notice a few people getting quite aggressive with Google. And you guys know I'm not a fan of Google where YouTube is concerned. I'm fairly happy with criticizing them. But I didn't quite understand the criticisms leveled at them. They've implemented a feature on YouTube that allows 60 frames a second. That seems good to me. Uh, they've added the technology to allow this possible to their Google Chrome browser. This seems good to me. This, this seems like a... 
good thing. And the other browsers don't yet have the technology in place to show them. Now that's a bad thing. I'm trying to find out why that's Google's fault. I did actually do some some searching, <laughs> Googling. Well, I didn't use Google because I figured uh, they, I, I, I should use a different search engine. Um, and couldn't find any mention of Google preventing other browser manufacturers from implementing this technology. I believe it's HTML5, which is, uh, you know, for everyone. And I'm not sure, but I have they? But I don't know for sure. I couldn't find any mention of it. Have they somehow put in a, if not using Google Chrome, don't show 60 frames a second? Because I doubt they'd do that. Um, I doubt they would do that. That would be A, very, very stupid, and B, very easy to get round. Really, really easy to get round. There would be, it would, there would be, it would be very quick. Uh, sorry, there would very quickly um, be a plugin for Firefox that allowed it to fake that. Um, I suspect. However, I just think at the moment that the other browsers don't quite have the technology in place. Now, I, I don't think it's something that's proprietorial to Google, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong on that. Um, and if so, and if they have made proprietorial technology for this, and they're keeping it a secret from other browsers, then, all right, I can sort of see why people are complaining about them. So if that's the case, then all right. But I, from what I can see, it's not. It's just a matter of they've implemented this feature for their browser, which seems like a good thing. Um, oh, oh, anyway. Um, so yeah, so, but in the end, I'm going to say, for now, it's not worth me switching to 60 frames a second. I did record the next episode of uh, Fallout New Vegas at 60 frames a second, and so I decided as a final test, I was going to, I was going to render that in 60 frames a second too. Do not worry, I've rendered it in 30 frames a second as well. I'm going to upload both videos, one for 30 frames a second, which will be as normal, and then I'll do a special 60 frames a second version, and you can watch that, and I will try and release them at the same time, and if you're capable, if you can watch 60 frames a second, you, 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 you should enjoy that. Uh, I will not be doing this for every one of my videos, because it's just not feasible. Uh, not only would it make the channel look a bit of a mess to have two of every single video, it would also require twice as much work, twice as much time rendering, well, more than that, actually, but I'd have to render each video twice, I'd have to upload them twice, and of course, that's bandwidth, um, and I don't pay for, I, you know, I've got a fixed price on my bandwidth, but of course, I use it pretty much constantly, and this would, this would possibly mean that uh, I would have to upload less videos, um, so that's not going to happen, I can't do that a lot, but I will do it for this one, so we, you, those of you who did get the benefits of 60 frames a second, will be able to experience my first Let's Play episode at 60 frames a second. However, it will probably be the last for a little while. And I do apologize for that because I do know it's it did look nice. I totally agree. So there you go. That's the current state of 60 frames a second on my channel. Um, it, it's working. It's just not quite reliable enough. So I'm going to wait and see. I'm hoping what's going to happen is... Google will, you know, they'll, they'll see all the complaints, because there's, there's a fair few, and they will work on the player, because I think it's a player-side problem. I don't think it's a problem at YouTube's end, to be honest, because if it was a problem at YouTube's end, you'd think that everyone was getting the problem, and they're not. Um, and it's certainly not a bandwidth problem, because I've got the bandwidth. I uh, don't want to brag, but I've got the bandwidth. I suspect it's a player problem, and it and it doesn't even seem to be something where you can say, well, your computer's not powerful enough, because my machine's pretty powerful. It's just um, one of those things. So I think they've got to do some tweaking of the playback technology, and hopefully they will. And once they get it figured out, and hopefully once other browsers get on board and make the plugins for it, think Firefox and so on, um, this will become more mainstream, and I will, of course switch to 60 frames a second at that moment because I do, I do see the benefit myself as well. Okay, so sorry about this ramble. I just thought I would give you the full evaluation at the end of this test. So there you go.